Oh, cool shot. Peekaboo! Howdy, folks! Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for a new release. The Batman. Just hit Blu-ray, and we're going to watch it. All right. I went to it in theaters. I loved it. Mm-hmm. You like Batman. I do like Batman. You also like Twilight and Robert Pattinson. I am a Twilight fan. I don't mind Robert Pattinson. Right. Yeah. Well, he's Bruce Wayne. Lovely. Batman. Lovely, lovely. So you should, should be right up your alley, I think. Okay. Only thing, it's kind of long. Yeah. But just think of it as a long TV show. Really, really long yeah, television like show. two episodes of TV. Maybe three. Three episodes of television. Yeah. Perfect. Just put that mindset on it. All right. Right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. What have you heard about this movie? That it's long and dark. Just like Batman. Exactly. All Batman. All Batmans. All Batman movies are long. All the Batmans. Are dark, usually. Yeah. So. Do you know who the, the bad guy is in this them. one? Um, no. No? Well, well you'll, you'll figure it out. Riddler? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Penguin? Well, we... Penguin? They're bringing back Danny DeVito. Yeah, Danny DeVito's in this. <laughs> no, but you might be on track on a couple of things here, so. But should we jump in and see what it's all about? I guess so. The mystery of the Batman. First, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us for the Batman tonight. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full link commentators, access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Also, Instagram and Twitter. So you can follow us at me, you, me, the movies if you want to see that. Yeah, social media. Check it out. Let's watch the Batman. Oh, we're jumping right into it, huh? Do you hear something? Am I supposed to? Okay. Do you hear anything? Yeah. The Batman. Cool. Halloween. In the city, his foot drops and other drugs are still rampant. I'm not, He's saying, gotten worse. I'm not saying there isn't work to do, but listen, I have a beautiful wife to do, okay, and I will not rest. Where the f come from? It's creepy as f. What he used to kill him? No idea. The f Two years of nights have turned me into a nocturnal animal. So he's been Batman for two years. They think I'm hiding in the shadows. But I am the shadows. I love that opening dialogue. I'd probably run if I heard that. Taser hands, huh? Cool. I'm sure I was thinking, like, wipe that off your face. <laughs> Police action. 
He's with me, officer. He literally was walking right behind him. Dum dum. Let's play a game. Just oh, it is Riddler, huh? What does a liar do when he's dead? What does a liar do when he's dead? I don't know. I'm not good at riddles. What are you doing to me? We used to be partners. I'm just trying to find the connection, Pete. He lies still. Excuse me? What does a liar do when he's dead? He lies still. Oh, what the f does that even mean, though? Oh. He still lies? Yeah. Double meaning. Well, that's the thing with the riddles, they're confusing. <laughs> He was barefoot. Get found him. Oh, that f sucks. He knows that feeling. Yeah. Sometimes in the morning. I have to force myself to remember everything that happened. Oh, cool. Contacts at her cameras. Yeah, recording, <clears throat> yeah. Martha were slain during Wayne's own mayoral campaign. It was a shocking crime that remains unsolved to this day. Eerie parallels, huh? Think there's a connection? Yeah, obviously. He's Alfred? Mm hmm Cool. What a fun pick. The killer left this with the Batman. Apparently. You're becoming quite a celebrity. Why is he writing to you? Because he knows that the Batman is that little kid. Was, right? You think the Riddler knows he's Batman? Bruce Wayne? Bruce Wayne, yeah. I don't care what happens to me. That's all I'm afraid of. Alfred, stop. You're not my father. He's not a suave, debonair Batman, well, Bruce Wayne. Yeah, he? he hasn't established his... So he's younger, younger yeah, Bruce Wayne? Yeah, he's still in the vengeance mode mm -hmm. before he's established that he needs to be a Bruce Wayne, too, right? Mm -hmm. I'm honestly surprised Robert Pattinson could get that ripped. And it gives us H E L I S and T. So I'm looking for any double symbols to start, try and letters, see where it leads. That's interesting. Brightness really is nocturnal. Use only the letters when you lie still and leave the rest. Blank. Yeah, I understand. But that would leave most of the cipher unsolved. I don't see how that's going to. Drive. What are we looking for? USB port. USB. Thumb. Drive. Oh. Jesus. He's got a sense of humor. Who is she? No idea. But that's the penguin. <sighs> Penguin's in this too. God damn, I'm a good guesser. <clears throat> the drive. It sent out the photos from my account. Oopsie. No, I am. Yeah. I got an idea. I want to see the penguin. I don't know what you're talking about, pal. He just wants to dance. You hear me? That little suit's going to get all full of blood. Mine are yours. It's pretty ballsy. To just beat your way into a nightclub? Mm. <laughs> oh, sh How you doing? I'm out. You know who's playing the penguin? I really don't know, Chief. No. I might have been coming out at the same time, but I wasn't rolling with him. Don't know. It's Colin Farrell. 
No. <clears throat> really? Mm -hmm. Oh, you just... The makeup is great. She knows her. Who's Maida? The mayor's. With the mail. Shit it is. Look at that. Don't let me hurt you. You better watch it. I'm just the proprietor, okay? Look what people do here. The prosthetics are so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, Catwoman. The cats didn't give it away? What cats? <laughs> that were at her feet. I literally didn't see any cats. <clears throat> He's gotta be like, what the f***? <laughs> Who is she? It's another creature of the night. Fancy. Pretty good at that. She's a cat burglar. <laughs> Let's go talk to her. Always liked Batman and Catwoman's dynamic. Yeah. Oh no, it's too late. <clears throat> Mommy! Baby! She was found dead earlier tonight inside the police athletic league facilities in the Tri Corner area. The killer posted the following message on social media, and we have to warn you, the video is very disturbing. Uh, hello, people of Gotham. This is the Riddler speaking. <laughs> oh, no. When the truth about our city will finally be unmasked. Goodbye. He's talking about Batman. I think so. Unmasked. The iceberg left. Forty four below. What is that? The club within the club. The real club. What? what? Mr. Freeze or whatever his name well, was. The penguin. Oh. Okay. Iceberg Lounge and then forty four below. Are they ever going to bring back the Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> no. character? He's not going to be in this. What was his character, though? Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze, thank you. You got a lot of cats. <laughs> Drinking milk. Oof. Really leaning into the cat persona. That's what she does. She poop in a litter box, too. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Good one. Follow the maze until you find the rat. Bring him into the light. And you'll find where I'm at. The hell is that? Bring him into the light. Find the rat. I don't know. I think. I don't know what to think. Ugh, the chewing gum thing. I guess it's not hard to chew your gum with your mouth closed. I don't understand. You can't either. It just drives me crazy. Just close your mouth when you chew gum. Sorry. It's not hard. I'm not even chewing gum when you're yelling at me. <laughs> These guys have a little problem with eye contact, don't they? Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, baby, feels real good. <laughs> That's the DA. Gil Colson. And he's coming over. You happy? Talk to him. <laughs> She's like, God damn it, I wasn't <laughs> trying to give him signals. Richie, Gwen. Hey. It's half the DA's office. You know Carla here, huh? This is Sherry, don't mind her. She's just we have big time information on Salvador Moroni. That's how we got him out of the drops business. I was talking about the Moroni case. But if this guy knows, it's gonna come out. It's been a long time since I've seen you down here. Yeah, I've been, I've been okay. Well, don't be a stranger. That's the big boss. 
Wait, what are you doing? No. 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 How much that thing costs? I know. What cool tech, though, right? How sweet would that be? But pretty sweet. He's the next to go. Riddler's making fast work, huh? <clears throat> Man, if you're in public office, you don't want to be caught coming out of that club. <laughs> oh, jeez. What kind of gift has he got for him? Could probably put that on remote control. I'm not so sure. Looks like you upset her. What is Shall she I from? Is That's Zoe song. Kravitz. That's oh, Zoe Kravitz is duh, dumb. duh. <laughs> Such an idiot. Of course, it's Zoe Kravitz. <laughs> Look at that beautiful Corvette. She's like your car in Gran Turismo. Mm-hmm. Stingray. Oof. So pretty. Hey, 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 watch it, fellas. You got the prince of the city there. You don't think that meant something he did there? It means he took the Hippocratic Oath. Hippocratic Oath. <laughs> yeah. I like John Totoro when he does serious roles. <clears throat> I usually only see him in a comedy stuff, yeah, yeah. goofy roles. That was the cop that hassled him yeah. with Batman. Mar hey, Mr. Martinez. Wayne. There he is. There's the DA. Let's clear this place out now. I'm sure he's like, oh, I gotta get, I gotta see what that. <laughs> <laughs> I would have a hard time not outing myself right there. <laughs> That's me. I'm the Batman. <clears throat> Did you answer? Hello. <laughs> Are you ready? No. I don't like that kind of pressure. Who <laughs> poetic or blind, but when it's denied, it's in violence you may find. Justice. Huh? The answer's justice. Justice? <laughs> Did you hear that one? Never. I would blind? Never. Justice is blind. Lots of <laughs> things are blind, you dummy. Since your justice is so select, please... Tell us which vermin you're paid to protect. Which vermin? The rat. The informant. I knew that one. That name, I have family, people I love. They'll kill them too. Who will? People are watching. What people? It's so much bigger than you could ever imagine. It's the whole system. Hey. Hey. Oh, oh sh. That dirt. Nobody's taking his hat off. That'd be the first thing I'd do. I'm like, let's see who this dude is. Back off! Come on, back off! Greg, now I got you on assaulting an officer. You got me on assaulting three. Hey! Okay, give him the room. I can't believe they transported him there without trying to take the mask off. Maybe it's got a lock system on it to protect him. Let's 
let's see this bear fly. <clears throat> cool. Squirrel suit. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Yeah. Needs a little practice. <laughs> Cracked a vertebrae on that one. Yeah. Could have at least pulled that punch, man. I did. <laughs> it means a rat with wings, like a stool pigeon. The penguin's got wings, too. Time for me to have another conversation with him. What about the Riddler? He's gonna kill again. It's all connected. Like it or not, it's his game now. I want to find Riddler. We gotta find that rat. What do you think? Mm, what am I penguin's the rat? No, I think Penguin's probably just one of the layers yeah. before the rat. It's a drug lab. Drops. This is a buy. Looks like they got Maroney's operation up and running again. Why they never shut it down at all. Biggest drug bust in GCPD history was a fraud. Could be. If the cops are getting rich off of it, right? Or the yeah. el elite, I guess. The higher ups. Hey, what happened? You alright? <laughs> Twins are always getting their asses kicked. <laughs> but, uh, those assholes are coming back. Oh no, Annika. Gordon, you're outnumbered. It's like a f tea kettle. Did he stall his own car? <laughs> well, it's rocket powered. He was still working on it last time we saw it in the garage. Sounds like American muscle, too. Yeah. What is it? Is it a Camaro? It's armored. <coughs> I feel like it's been a while since we've had a really cool Batmobile. The Tumblr in Dark Knight was alright, but it was too tanky for me. Dang it. Gonna land right on. T oh, cool. <coughs> who got who? He fared really well for <laughs> rolling that many times. Yeah. Oh, cool shot. Sounds like he has spurs on. <laughs> Peekaboo! Okay, I ain't no rat. You got any idea what Carmen Falcone will do to me? How you just kind of talk? No, the symbols in the maze, right here. It says you are El Rata Alada. You are El Rata. It says that. Why? You got something to tell us? Yeah. It's like the voice Spanish I have on. What? <laughs> I made a a rat with wings. You know what that sounds like to me? A friggin' bat! Huh? You ever think of that? Oh, El Rata. I grew up from a seed, tough as a weed. But in a mansion, in a slum, I'll never know where I come from. Do you know what I am? 
Batman, right? He's talking about the old orphanage. One that burned down. It was part of the Wayne estate. They donated it after they built the tower. Let's go. You guys realize I'm still here, right? <laughs> so he's saying Bruce Wayne's dad was the rat? Yeah, he's gonna out his dad, right? <clears throat> Sins of the father. Renewal is about growth. It is about planting seeds and renewing Gotham's promise. Shall we visit it upon the sun? Or a rat with wings, Batman? Oh no. Oh no, Alfred, don't do it. Something terrible is gonna happen. I'm afraid it already has, sir. About an hour ago. So you think the regular was trying to take out Batman and Bruce Wayne all in one? He knows that Batman is Bruce Wayne. Yeah. It's gonna say renewal must be a pro a project or something that his dad was working on. Yeah, it was a one billion dollar foundation he started. To Penguin, to Falcone. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Falcone owes me that money. He owes you. Yeah, and a lot more. No, really. Why is that? You know what? I can't even talk to you. No. I want to know why a guy like Falcone would owe you anything. Because he's my father. Ooh, I didn't see that one. <laughs> anyway, social services came to take me away, and he didn't say a thing. He didn't even look at me. He owes me that money. So she's kind of an orphan too, then, huh? Mm -hmm. I imagine the Riddler is as well. Maybe. Money agreement to save his mayoral campaign, but when the reporter refused. Wayne turned to longtime secret associate Carmine Falcone and had him murdered. Mm, so his daddy, the Riddler's daddy, was a, the reporter, huh? He's very upset about it still. <laughs> I want to see Carmine Falcone. They let Bruce right in. What, uh, Moroni was worried that your father would be in my pocket forever. You say Salvatore Moroni got my father killed? I'm just saying it sure looked that way to me. What do you think? He told Falcone he was going to the police. And that night, your father and your mother were killed. Falcone. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> Time to get to work. That's not you? I thought it was you. Uh oh. <clears throat> That's why I made him take your passport. Until we could have this little conversation you'll never hear from me again nobody will please they're gonna get you out of here i promise the falcon has wings too falcone is the rat yep i thought it was falcone when penguin was talking i was like it's probably falcone right like <laughs> way above him yeah. of course it'd be the guy at the very top of the food chain Money. huge charitable fund with no oversight everybody got a piece but Falcone wanted more. Whoops. Bruce Wayne's supposed to be in charge of that, yeah? Don't throw your life away. Don't worry, honey. I got nine of them. We may never find the Riddler. I have to stop her. You mean we? I gotta do this my way. And then what? We do what Riddler said. Bring the rat to the light. What? I'm Maria Kyle's kid. You remember her? Yeah. 
Just, just put down the gun, honey. This is for my mother. Missed. <laughs> Phone flashlight. <laughs> that was well done. He's Batman. Citizen's arrest. Don't you know you boys in blue work for me? He didn't get that memo. You always just a gimp in an empty suit. I'll spray paint your ass! The Riddler. Mm. I mean, he kind of did everyone a favor. <laughs> I knew, I knew it was him. <laughs> I just sorted a slice of pumpkin pie. He does creepy so well. Which one is you? Tell me. Let's go, pencil neck. Like, gosh, if I were casting that role, I would have casted that actor in that role. As Riddler? Yeah, yeah, like he's perfect for that, right? Watch, it's not going to be him. He's not going to be the Riddler. <laughs> he's not the real Riddler. <laughs> I just made myself look like a complete <laughs> asshole. Hey, Lieutenant, you really okay with this? What about chain of evidence? Should see this. He's wearing gloves. Step <laughs> back. Oh. oh boy. This was all a setup. The whole building's gonna explode. Think so? I don't know. <laughs> Can you get in? Copying his drive now. Take some time. We'll get in. Hasn't that been obvious, though, that he's known who <laughs> Bruce Wayne and the Batman are? That neck chain could easily be taken over his head. That's way too large. Bruce. Way. Bruce. Wayne. He's the only one we didn't get. Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, God. He's right in front of him the whole time. He, like, is... You did. We're such a good team. We're not a team. I never could have gotten him out of there. I'm not physical. My strength is up here. I had all the pieces. I had the answers, but I didn't know how to make them listen. Yeah, you literally have all the pieces, and you're not putting the, the final two pieces together. You're gonna die. Oh, no, 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 no. Oops. We're supposed to be best friends. We could watch the whole thing together. Watch what? Everything! Oh, you're really not as smart as I thought you were. Ditto. Oh, 
Oh, he's so creepy. Criminally insane. That's why he's in Arkham. He's got a bombs planted like all over the city, right? Kill Mitchell with a friggin' carpet tool. A carpet tool. Uh, a Tucker. It's a clue. What's got carpet? Oh, his apartment has carpet. Lovely. The whole thing's a bomb, right? Full of C4. Hey guys. Uh, thanks for all the comments and uh, a special thanks to everyone for the tips on detonators. Let's just say none of us is alone anymore. He's got his own little army. I parked seven vans all along the city seawall. And on the big night, they will go. Well, just a tad too late. <clears throat> As breaking news hits higher ground at Gotham Square Garden, becomes the city's shelter of last resort. And that's where all of you come in. Oh, jeez. You're gonna blow that up, too? Oh, great. Great. Fish in a barrel. <clears throat> it's time for the lies. I really don't know. We're just trying to get a handle here, sir. Right. Hey, listen, quiet! You get an active situation. You need to speak to the little... You always gotta watch out for the henchman. A lot of guys with big guns. Yeah. They're setting them up like fish in a barrel. Yep. Oh god. I could not have fucked. No way. No way. <laughs> that little, little tiny Zoe <laughs> Zoe Kravitz can pull big old Batman up. It's all about leverage. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and from that angle and position, there's no way. <laughs> Little jolt of adrenaline there, huh? His Hulk juice. <laughs> Hulk smash! Batman smash. I wonder if it's actually adrenaline or if it's venom, which is what Bane uses. Oh, interesting. Well, I guess probably that then, huh? No. Because it was green. I don't remember that. Who the hell are you? I'm vengeance. That guy's going to need a new face. Sure. 
Yeah, I mean, how come everybody wouldn't have taken the opportunity to go up uh, anyways? And they know it's flooding out. Like dum dums. Wasn't really much place for everybody else to go because the rest of the downtown's flooded too. Mm -hmm. Bat Cave's gonna be a total disaster. <laughs> it's subterranean. It's definitely gonna be flooded. Might have to move then. This song's got a Nirvana feel, yeah? Very grunge. Yeah. Oh, this psycho's gotta find a way out. Isn't that just terrible? Him. The Joker. Is it Jared Leto's Joker? Oh. He sounds familiar. It's actually the guy from Chernobyl. <clears throat> they had to go around and shoot all the dogs. Why don't you come with me? Get into some trouble. Knock off some CEO hedge fund types. It'll be fun. <laughs> Duty calls. All right. All right. The Batman. What do you think? Uh, it was a little slow, but yeah. I really liked it, actually. Yeah. I thought um, this Batman gave me a little bit more of like a nostalgic feel for some reason. Yeah, it felt more like the comics. Or well, what? it felt more like some of the original ones, like, like the early nineties. Yeah, Michael Keaton ones. Okay. I don't know why, just probably because he's slimmer. Well, I think it built Gotham in a similar sense. Then, well, maybe not as much as the first. My favorite part about it is that I felt like it built a lot of character. It did a lot of character development for Bruce Wayne. Yeah. And, and Batman. Like, mm -hmm. I just feel like I learned more about, I don't know, maybe not. And like what, why he does it kind of thing? Or like... I don't know. For some reason, it just felt like this age that he was mm -hmm. is something that they've not ever really tackled before. No. They haven't ever really put him in this age range. Yeah, Batman really. Begins was kind of the earlier age of I Batman guess that's as well. True. But that um, was... Um, it feels completely different than that. That was, who was that? Christian Bale, Christian Bale right? Yeah. Yeah. Those are maybe the ones I'm least familiar with, Christian Bale's Batman ones. Yeah, you haven't watched them in a while? Right. Yeah. Those movies kind of put, it felt like Batman in the real world. Mm -hmm. well, I felt like this one does better at building Gotham up as, it's kind of real world, but you feel like the Gotham of the comics in it. Like, it's this dark, wet, muggy place. Because I mean, the whole yeah, movie city. is in, at night. Yeah. Lots of rain scenes and stuff. I, that's what I loved about Cessful this movie week. was I felt like it did a great job of making Gotham into a, its own character because that's Gotham is like mm -hmm. a character in itself, the city. Yeah, sort of built on and that world. It, it didn't really do that in the Dark Knight trilogy. It was more of like it felt like any other city. It felt like New York or Chicago. Well, or, I don't know. Gotham always just kind of feels like a yeah. dirty, extremely corrupt New York City to me. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. It just always has. Robert Pattinson did really good, yeah. I think. You liked his Batman? I, I liked his, yeah, his the character, oh, Jesus, how do I even f say this? <laughs> Again, with, like, the, at the point in development as yeah. that he was with Batman, I felt like he did a great job of playing that brooding, 
He's you completely know, not a in, teenager, yeah. you know, just young adult, that brooding young adult who's still holding on to the past, like hardcore, which yeah. Batman always does hold on to that past. But you kind of talk, he does, he's not Bruce Wayne very much in this. No, you can tell he, like you said at the beginning, like he's, he's in that time period in his life where he's so angry about his past still that he's just he's, really absorbed. He's just Batman. Batman. Right? Yeah. Like he can only be Bruce Wayne for this mm-hmm. much because he is fully decided that he is this Batman. Yeah. And um, and that's all that matters to him right now. Mm-hmm. I think the moment he had with Alfred in the hospital, though, was kind of, I think that's the most Bruce moment of the movie is I think you, we don't get to see it in this film, but they're, they've already greenlit the sequel, so hopefully they build on that. But it's, like, the it's first, him realizing that he maybe needs to be Bruce more too. It's I think it's the first time since he's lost his parents that he realizes he has somebody yeah. to live for. There is still Bruce. Yeah, right? that there, that there's still something to live for. And mm-hmm. It's not just yeah. He doesn't have to just be Batman anymore. So. You say it's slow, but I feel like it's it it's, builds. It's, oh, it's its own speed, and it just. It doesn't go any other speed. No, but. it absolutely stays very yeah. consistently that speed the yeah. entire... I mean, it breathes. The movie just is... Mm-hmm. It breathes a lot. Builds a world, builds a character, mm-hmm. builds the atmosphere. Yeah. And I, I love it because it's... Uh, I feel like it's the first detective Batman movie. Mm-hmm. And that's what Matt Reeves, the director, set out to do was to make Batman not just the superhero that he is, but like the world's greatest detective that he's supposed to be. Hmm. Despite the fact that he does not solve the crime and loses. Right. The Riddler wins in this, despite the fact that Batman gets all the credit saving the day there. The right. The Riddler's pissed about it. The didn't Riddler still from happening, yeah, so. got everything across. But the one thing he didn't get was he was trying to take Batman kind of with him as, like, we were doing this together because right. you inspired me. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's I what... I can't believe that the Riddler was so blind. To see. <laughs> that he and wasn't it written Bruce. all in front of him. But... Yeah. You think he knows it's Bruce the whole time? Yeah, I thought like, so. Nope. Mm-hmm. He was just hoping they would <laughs> they just want to be, be partners to be in this friends. huge crime of because the Riddler sees himself as a vigilante trying mm-hmm. to root out all this corruption. But uh, uh, one thing that I feel like Batman movies over the course of the last what two decades or decade at least mm-hmm. have done well is they take these characters that could be very cartoony, right? Characters that mm-hmm. we've seen being very cartoony in, yeah. in like the '90s versions of them, and they've turned them into these true villains mm-hmm. that aren't cartoony they could be real i mean they could be very yeah. very real people and make them believable whereas like you know the 90s you had jim carrey yeah after Question when schumacher guy. took over the the batman helm after tim burton left yeah yeah You're talking about batman forever with jim carrey as the riddler and yeah and exactly and, i mean yeah. those characters are just much more cartoony yeah. you, you say it felt like the 90s like keaton the two keaton yeah the, to me it actually feels more like the animated series oh it could be from the, did, yeah. have you, did you ever watch that from the 90s yeah no but i I can see like visual pictures yeah. of of it in my mind, mm-hmm. and I th- I think that's what the nostalgia for me is. I grew up watching that cartoon like every you know Saturday morning, mm-hmm. so so it felt like it was building that kind of Gotham, that kind of real grittiness where there's a lot of cartoonish characters like the Penguin, Catwoman stuff, mm-hmm. but it took all of them very seriously in that animated. Oh you know, yeah, and it does in this and movie, does well. in this movie so, a lot, yeah, yeah, like it's not campy. Tim at all. Burton's. Right. Penguin, like, mm-hmm. what the fuck, right? Yeah, that, was, that was pretty campy. <laughs> yeah, super. And this penguin's like, oh, yeah. that's a real guy. Mm-hmm. He's just that way. He's so, yeah, what do you think of Colin gangster. Farrell as a uh, penguin? Crazy. Couldn't even tell. Yeah. Couldn't even tell it was Colin Farrell. I mean, great prosthetic makeup. And... Mm-hmm. They're supposed to be doing a penguin HBO series. Because if you think about With Colin how... Farrell? Yeah. Oh, geez. So that would they... be so annoying to be just like that all the time. <laughs> For like 10 hours of television. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you look at how this movie ended, Gotham's underwater. Mm-hmm. Penguin's kind of the next rising yeah. star here. Mm-hmm. It's kind of thematically fits, right? He's absolutely he's an yeah. aquatic bird. Of course, he's going to take over Gotham when it's flooded, right? Yeah. So I like how they set that up with the, the city being flooded. And it wasn't even his plan, but he's going to mm-hmm. make the most of it kind of thing, right? So well, Catwoman int- says, you know. Yeah. There's going to be a power play. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. It just, it, it, I think it aligned lots of things really well. Mm-hmm. I, th- I told you to act like this was a TV show when we watched it. 
just mm-hmm. to get through the length of it because I felt like it's three episodes. Of it a really TV does. Show. Yeah, you're right. It yeah. did. It did feel even each hour is like its own. The first hour, if you go until Batman gets knocked out by the bomb, mm-hmm. that's kind of like the first episode of a TV show. And it, then that it could almost segment. have been done in chapters, like yeah. chapter one, chapter yeah. two, chapter three. Yeah. So it, when I walked out of the theater the first time, I was like, I felt like I just watched the third, a third of a, like a Batman TV series from HBO. That I was like, I just want more. Yeah. Right. That's that's one thing I like about this movie. It's just, but it, I just want more of it because mm-hmm. I love the Gotham that they built and I love the characters that they built up in the. You know, it felt like the perfect Riddler for a modern Gotham, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, yep. and they hinted at the Joker being the next one, but I, I kind of hope they don't do Joker. I kind of feel like we need a break from him. I know. I feel like we've gotten enough so, Joker over the last yeah. however many years. We could move on to a different character. Yeah. What was your favorite part of the movie? Um, I'm going to say my least favorite part was maybe the chase, the car chase. You didn't like the car chase? I mean, it was fine, but it's like. Just kind of felt like it was a car chase just for the sake of having a car chase. Yeah. Like they always have to have a car chase in Batman, <laughs> so that was that. But it was a it. really cool car chase. It was fine. Like the last shot. Was the just... the shots were beautiful. Yeah. I mean, very cinematically stunning. Mm-hmm. And um, the car's just badass with the, the classic. Uh, yeah. Rocket on the back. Mm-hmm. Rocket powered. So. But. Uh, you know, car yeah. chase, so typical. Okay. Um, so not the car chase then? Not the car chase. What was my favorite part? Actually, I think maybe seeing Robert Pattinson take off the... or Take be, off the cow. Take off, the, yeah, take off his bat costume for the first time in the... In the Batcave for the very, just that, in that very first and scene, you basically. you see some how everything works when he shows up to Batcave for the first time. And you see his... The, the I, yeah, I, I, kind of yeah, the con- the, the contact parts and the fact that he you know paints his his face. You never, yeah, never seen, thought about that. You never, yeah, I never yeah. thought about that before. But it makes complete sense. Of course, you would have to. There was mm-hmm. your eyelids, <laughs> but yeah, the fact that his face is kind of um, painted in that way, okay. and then he, you can tell he's just kind of this brooding presence. Yeah, yeah I just that I think that was maybe my favorite part. Well, we don't get a lot of Bruce. I felt like. I didn't he played really... a great Bruce that is engulfed in like you feel okay that is a Bruce Wayne that's totally controlled by the, his Batman persona. Yep. Right. Yep. I, I don't really feel like you got that with the Christian Bale Batman movies. He wasn't as brooding in those. There was no. moments of brooding, but Wh- not like which as makes sense though. I mean, I don't was the Christian Bale one as young. Batman Begins was yeah. He went from being you know year one year two Batman to the Dark Knight Rises was kind of. He was aging out of it, and he was all beat up because he's been fighting for something. Right. So they, they tried to... I like the Ben Affleck Batman because it was like old older. Old, old Batman, yeah. Which I thought was nice to mm-hmm. see an old Batman perspective. Mm-hmm. But this one, I just I guess I haven't seen the Christian Bale ones in such a long time that I felt yeah. like it was nice to see a younger Batman. Yeah. Kind of when he's in that, that stage of I am only Batman. Yeah. Which, in my mind, actually makes more sense for the... Character, character of yeah. Bruce Wayne, I agree. yeah. So at that stage, he wouldn't have he wouldn't really he wouldn't, be a playboy. Yeah. I mean, not it's not likely that he would be a playboy. He'd be obsessed with his yeah brand new endeavor. Yep. Right. So yeah, I'm excited for to see where they go with this. This was originally just supposed to be a one off, but it did so well that oh, of course they're, they're gonna, gonna turn into a franchise. So. Of course they're gonna turn into a franchise. But we always don't do you that. want more of this? Band? Well, I, I'm I'm not gonna be upset to see more of it, but yeah. like of course. <laughs> I just can't wish they just would make. Some, they can't just let something good lie. I just wish know? they would make a Batman TV show. That it's would like be the cool. only thing they've never done since the '60s with Adam West. Yeah. It, HBO produced Batman. We got all. We got Superman shows every decade, right? With New Adventures of Lois Clark. And Maybe that's why Batman is so successful, though, because they've never really yeah. done a TV show. They haven't taken it to yeah. a te- television show level. I mean, not, you know, television is a lot more elevated now than it used to be, but yeah. That's Maybe why that's that. why Superman movies aren't as successful. Yeah. Because. Not since the 70s, so to speak. Yeah. Right. Because they've been done so much in television. Mm-hmm. Anyways, this is a long conversation that yeah. nobody probably cared about at all. Well, what should people comment on? Favorite part of this really long movie. Yeah. If you have one, if you can remember. And um, favorite gadget. And who was your favorite villain? Or like. Batman. I also love Catwoman. Catwoman. I'm not gonna lie. Riddler, Penguin. Which one of those did you? 
Batman's or Catwoman's not really a villain. She's, I mean, she is, but she isn't. She plays both sides. Yeah, so. I just like her. Did you like Zoe? Yeah, oh, I thought she did a great job. Yeah. Who was your favorite Batman character other than Batman? This was it, the Catwoman. Yeah. Okay. What was yours? Let us know in the comments below. That's right. Also, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for the Batman. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full length commentary, access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Till next time. Have a good one. Bye.